our entrance ent upon. O God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our risen Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. In this Easter season, we encounter the risen Lord in many different ways. Each of us are called by God to help spread the good news that the Lord is risen and with us. We will hear in our first reading of how Philip was called to help the Ethiopian eunuch to understand that he is to walk with Christ, who is the true light of the world. As we gather in prayer today, let us ask the Lord to open our hearts that we might be people who evangelize others, bring others to Christ. We do so by the very living of our lives. So let us turn away from sin and rejoice in Christ who is risen and with us. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel Lord spoke to Philip, Get up, head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of Candace, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with the chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I, unless someone instructs him? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture, the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before him shears in, in his eye. So he opened his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his prosperity? For his life was taken from the earth. Then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is, what is to prevent my being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water and he baptized him. When he came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away, and the eunuch
Isaac saw him no more, but continued on his way rejoicing. Philip came to Azaz and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached, reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless our God, you angels, loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let us be deceived. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Hear now, all you who fear God, for I declare what, I, what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Bless me, God, who refused me not, my prayer for his kindness. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from the Father, he has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One month from now, we will close the Easter season with the celebration of the Feast of Pentecost. For 50 days, we celebrate the gift of the resurrection, and we reflect on the various ways that the risen Christ comes to us in our day-to-day -day lives. In today's first reading, we heard the story of Philip's encounter with the Ethiopian royal minister. Philip was one of seven deacons appointed by the church in Jerusalem to share in the ministry of the apostles. The Ethiopian was inspired by the word of God as he studied the prophet Isaiah. Philip helps him to see that the prophecies of Isaiah that the Ethiopian was reading are indeed fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Taking a closer look at this story, we can see the presence and the action of the Holy Trinity in the life of the Ethiopian.
God the Father had placed a desire in his heart for a relationship of love. And the Holy Spirit, acting through the person of Philip, brings the Ethiopian to a new way of seeing. And then Jesus, the Word made flesh, was made present in the life of the Ethiopian through the waters of baptism, when he then became a child of God. This action of the presence and action of the Holy, Holy Trinity continues in our own day, and it is a model for us of the spiritual life. You know, in our lives, there ought to be a little bit of restlessness in our spiritual journey. A restlessness to come to know Jesus more and more, because there's always something more we can learn about our relationship with him. We experience that God the Father has placed a desire in our hearts to grow in faith and love of the Lord and one another. And the Holy Spirit continues to inspire us to see with new eyes, maybe through the help of a friend, or our reading of sacred scripture, or a book we've read, or maybe an experience we have, the Holy Spirit moves into our lives and helps us to see. These encounters have then drawn us to a greater appreciation for the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. Today, may we rejoice in the presence of the risen Lord, and let's renew our belief in God who is revealed to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Turning to God, who calls us by name to follow him, we now raise our prayers of petition. For church leaders, may God guide their efforts in sharing the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold positions of civic authority, may the Spirit of the Lord lead them in serving their people with charity, justice, and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle each day to feed themselves and their families, may God give them the strength and lift them from their difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God grant us the zeal and faith of Philip as we announce the gospel of the Lord in our daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they see God in all his splendor in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For William Ward and Mike Siani, for whom these mass, the mass intentions are for today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for this Easter season in which we grow in a greater appreciation of your living presence among us. Hear these our petitions and guide us always in the light of your truth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit to the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all God's holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and to drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis and Joseph, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who will please you throughout the ages, 
even the heir to the co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you to should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. Behold, I am with you always, even until the end of the age. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uniting our prayers with those throughout the world, we pray together. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. 
we entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of the Roman people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, who is take, to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us live in peace.